हरि ओम वी आर डिस्कसिंग नियमास एज पार्ट ऑफ पतांजलि योग साधना ऑलरेडी वी डिस्कस्ड शौच संतोष and now is the turn of third type of niyama that is tapas what is tapas tapas means discipline self discipline austerity और बर्निंग ऑफ इम्प्योरिटीज और मेनी सच सिमिलर मीनिंग्स हियर इन नियमास वी टेक इट एज डिसिप्लिन सेल्फ डिसिप्लिन एंड असाद का needs to follow tapas to achieve any kind of goal even if it is for good health and prosperity when we analyze on tapas the word takes us to our ancestral lines mythological stories we are very much acquainted that all the great personalities of olden days were under tapas the individual need not be a saint or a philosopher but even demons were also under tapas how they were for years together or maybe a decade of time or more than that were under tapas and this is that discipline which looks very strenuous but they took that as a challenge and they achieved their goals because of which we got lot of history and they got lot of boons and after they get boons again they forget this tapas or they come out of that kind of austerity but that moment when they were in that tapas or that discipline they forget the world they only do what is required they know the aim but to achieve that goal or aim or that objective they plan and prepare and they do and 
they were so interested in that path to get that goal that they forget everything they leave everything and they lead a saintly life here what is saintly life saintly life in the sense renouncing everything the path of enlightenment needs renouncing all and become a simple individual and look into yourself so when you look into yourself in the sense like not exploring it is that is a different type of nam niyama this is about complete surrenderance surrender here is not slavery it is complete dedication that interest interest is ultimate a person who has that kind of interest can achieve we try try and we fail sometimes but the dedication and the tapas is like that do or die kind now in 21st century we do not require that much our goals are different our motives are different but to understand a tapas we should look into those stories mythological stories to be on that self discipline path when we are on such a kind of path to test your interests lot of attractions dis- distractions temptations intervene and it is called as maya or illusion of course the life on earth itself is a great illusion but even then when you are dedicated to something when you want to be on the path of achieving something when something comes on the way it is seen as a kind of distraction it can be anything so when you are on the path of discipline what is that is it required that we have to get up early in the morning and sleep off early in the night or have timely food like how saints do or just is it not required when you are on a path of any kind to achieve your goals for example if you take any examination which you have to crack competitive examination or that you are not comparing with others how they are studying but there your discipline is more important in that definitely you are waking up and sleeping off and your food intake and your way of sitting and standing 
everything matters because it's a matter of health when you are doing yoga when you are sitting straight and studying then you will not get into any health complications it is about a plan for long run in the process of this achieving goal if your physical and mental health is not properly maintained then when you achieve your goals when you get your fruits can you enjoy those your physical or mental health may not support you and you will, may fall sick when something comes in your hand you should grab it so for that purpose when you are in the discipline the discipline is mainly for you to live long and think well and be a being of everyone's welfare and the motto whatever you have done the purpose to be solved there are certain things which never requires these kind of certain disciplines and all maybe short goals but when you are with the long goals you need these kind of discipline self discipline is very much important if you do not fix a time you may not be doing that kind of tapas means not always what you are sitting and closing eyes like in olden days in a meditative posture and you are leaving the house and going somewhere it is not like that now the definitions are changed because our lifestyle is changed we, we now for sainthood that is required but a person who is into families and societies and into the world can be with everyone and still be disciplined of course when we have discussed about like in competitive exams if they have to go and stay somewhere for some particular time that is more easier and purpose gets solved everything goes very well but only point is when we observe they give least importance to health least importance to yoga sadhana at least little of their limbs or moved that is good and protein food nutrition and of course many of them will take care but very few they do not focus on that we cannot generalize on the, that point or simplify it as well but discipline in what way it is essential in the path of life for long and healthy life as a sadhaka daily 
doing yoga sadhana closing eyes and looking into oneself and following healthy conditions and when we get up early in the morning organ clock there is a circadian rhythm it it's a kind of thing it supports your lungs to breathe more and when your respiratory system is very good and rest of the organs will also be very fine that is the only logic in getting up early and going to bed early is also that your liver needs rest otherwise they say it cries if we are disciplined our organs will be properly functioning and when we take food in time it also got such a time regularly and the same time when you take your spleen works your blood chemistry will be fine your hormonal balance will be good the discipline of sitting and standing postures or walking or talking or smiling all these are part of your nervous system and your whole body postures through yoga sadhana all these together keep you in good health discipline is required for that tapas is required for that in day to day life if it is children or maybe youngsters middle aged or elderly people anyone everyone should be in tapas self discipline is very important and while following discipline you need not force other people to be under discipline by seeing you they will learn if you are rude if you scold nobody will learn even when we are on road or we stuck up in the jams or when someone is following not following rules we try to scold them teach them so they don't learn you may think they are learning but they when you are rude when you are holding a stick and telling people grown ups small children they don't know to defend themselves but elders are not grown ups or not like that they try to defend themselves when you are so strict with people when you are rude or when you show your anger on other people learning is very less 
and defending is more they try to defend and even though they know that they have done something wrong they ni- never try to accept but when with love and kindness when you say at least one or two words go to them and how kindness got its own value but again sometimes when you have to be fighting raising voice it need not be from inside like a small kid how you are training in that way you can train people discipline they will understand but for that you need not lose your balance or you need not lose your health condition when someone is indisciplined people who are disciplined get agitated and the crib and they get upset the person who is indisciplined will be happily moving all around but this disciplined person get sick you might have observed why because accept that human beings are all of different kinds and everyone for everyone every treatment is not going to work depending on the situation circumstances we have to put our words and otherwise we have to do so that by seeing us they will learn and unnecessary trauma might ruin our own health fight do petitions and whatever we have to we can do to make certain changes in the society but inwardly you have to be pleasant and peaceful we can try if we get disturbed we may lose our thinking power we should try self discipline is very beautiful that is going to make our works very easier it looks strenuous to others but people who are interested into it they enjoy it a lot and in patanjali yoga sadhana this niyama tapas is very essential we can talk lot and lot on that but somewhere we need to put a stop and you can better understand it and analyze through your perception this is my perception this is my observation as sadhakas or as trainers you please study more and more on that and with your experience and with your knowledge you can make or build up many more sadhakas with this tapas
we bow to this kind of niyama tapas and move to next type of niyama swadhyaya hari om tat sat